Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking it out if you're new. Today I've got a bit of a different video for you, a little bit of a review slash vlog. So last weekend I attended with my friends Motor City Comic Con up in Novi, Michigan. We all traveled a ton of miles to go visit and convene there as we do annually, sometimes biannually, just depending on the con. It was a real fun time. I love going to Comic Con. It's fun to meet the celebrities. I met a handful such as the cast of The Flash. Cons are not only a time to meet celebrities, but it's also a time to just shop and find cool art, find cool toys, Funko Pops, whatever you're looking for. I got a ton of cool art last weekend, like this cool Spider-Verse print. And on the other side, there's from the same artist, this Ahsoka print. And then because of the Spider-Man game, you can see the 19 inches of Venom right there. I am hyper fixating and so I did pick up this guy right here with Peter wearing you know the classic red and blue on one side and the symbiote on the other and then I also got for those of you who have seen Clone Wars the helmet left in the snow you know the Ahsoka trooper helmet with Vader in the visor really cool art as some of you might have noticed in the background here they change intermittently but I do love to get my Funko Pops I'm a big Funko Pop collector I love to get them signed by the celebrities when I can. And so, like I said, this weekend I was able to get the Flash cast, you know. Right here is Daniel Panabaker and Carlos as Cisco and Caitlin or Killer Frost from The Flash. As well as Tom Cavanaugh, who is the reverse Flash in that show. Love him. He wrote the whole big old quote on the box. Oh, I'm not like the Flash at all. Some would say I'm the reverse. And then I also met Naji, who voices Miles Morales in the new PS4 games and PS5 games. I think he also does the voice in the animated series, but I haven't watched those. And on top of all that, I met someone very special, and that is Doug Jones, who right here I had him sign my Amphibian Man from The Shape of Water. You all know who Doug Jones is, even if you don't know who he is or what he looks like. He is a prominent actor for the last 30 years who has been in just about everything under some kind of layer of makeup. For comic book nerds, he was the Silver Surfer in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. I love that movie and I've thought about doing a video about it on this channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think of that idea. He's some of the monsters in Pan's Labyrinth. He's Abe Sapien in the Guillermo del Toro Hellboy movies, which again, I love those two movies. I always forget this, but he's Billy Butcherson in both Hocus Pocus movies. You know, he cuts it open in the Mario's fly off. He's the zombie in those movies. He's also the Baron in What We Do in the Shadows, which after meeting him this weekend, I have started and already binged the first three seasons of. Love that show. Go watch that show. He's also Saru in the newest Star Trek Discovery show. I think that's the one, right? Yes, Star Trek Discovery. Sorry, I am not a Trekkie. I will never pretend to be a Trekkie. I'm not opposed to it, I've just never watched Star Trek. But so yeah, my friends and I, we all went and met Doug Jones, and he was the kindest man ever. He gave everybody a hug, he had something to say. You know, sometimes celebrities are a little tired, or don't have much to say unless you engage with them, but he was immediately there, and he told stories, and he gave hugs, he asked you how you were doing, asked you what you wanted. And also this weekend, he was giving out tickets to a special screening of a film that he is in a remake of Nosferatu. Sorry for the bad lighting and bad audio. This is a little impromptu vlog. I'm currently at Motor City Comic Con with my friends, and we are now on our way to an early screening of Doug Jones' Nosferatu. So if you don't know, Nosferatu is a Dracula movie back from the 1920s, and Doug Jones has been working on a remake for the last few years. And so the attendees, he is here this weekend at Motor City Comic Con, and the attendees, up to 100 people, you had to go to his booth and ask him for a ticket. And my friends and I, all three got one. So we are now on our way to an early exclusive screening of Nosferatu. And so I just thought I'd do a little vlog, and I thought it'd be fun. All right, let's go. Some of you may or may not have heard about this. There's really no internet presence on it. So if you don't know, Nosferatu is a movie from 1922. It's a vampire movie, the classic Nosferatu. Everybody knows who Nosferatu is. Wait, if that was you on the phone and you on the bus, then who was flickering the lights? 
Nosferatu! Yes, that Nosferatu. That's actually from a classic movie in 1922. Nosferatu is a vampire. It's essentially a retelling, an adaptation of Bram Stoker's Dracula. So with that, back in 2014, 2015, actor Doug Jones and director David Lee Fisher did a remix of Nosferatu. Not a remake, they're calling it a remix. And what this movie is, is a love letter to classic cinema. It, according to Doug Jones, because at this screening we went to, there was a Q&A after the movie where he kind of explained what it was, we went in with nothing. We arrived at the theater and we were told nothing other than it was the movie and we were going to get an early screening. And the movie itself is great. The, basically the premise is, what if you took the 1922 silent film, Nosferatu, and added sound, added dialogue. And I think it's great. Some of the acting at the start might catch you off guard because it's a bit bombastic and loud, but that's on purpose. Because in the old silent films, you know, as Doug Jones said during the Q&A, you have all this where the characters... And then the caption says, yes, mother. And so it is a bit bombastic and over the top, but that's on purpose. And it feels like you're watching that original 1922 film just with sound. And a big way they capture this is they, it's called a remix because they used original elements from the 1922 film. Most of this movie, according to Jones, was shot on a green screen. And then they put themselves, the new actors and new props or sets, into the backgrounds or settings of the original 1922 film. And you can see that. This feels like a project of love. Jones himself stars as the titular role of Nosferatu and kills it as always. <laughs> you know, he's all about that character work, the long fingers and everything like that. He definitely has a presence on screen. Something really interesting about the film that they noted during the Q&A is that the film is stylized in black and white sepia tones and then red. Originally, the film was going to be in color, which, if you don't know, the original film is also in black and white. I think the black and white really helps the film, as well as the stylized color that they chose. It really just adds to that feel, like I said, of this is not meant to be your big A24 crazy remake of Nosferatu that I think is coming out next year. I know it's Robert Eggers for sure. I don't even know if it's A24, but that's not what this is. This is a remix. This is a love letter to the classic film while giving it new life in making it a talkie, <laughs> as Doug Jones said, instead of a silent film. So then after the movie, Doug Jones and his manager came out to greet the crowd and thank us all for coming and let us know that this was actually the first public screening ever of the film. So the hundred of us that were there were the few who were fortunate enough to see the movie. And it was really cool. Like I said, Doug Jones was wonderful. He was great. Sorry. I'm <laughs> Have you been reading my mail? Yes. Yes. So I, 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 I obviously got goosebumps at the chance. And so that's why it became a labor of love for both of us to, to make this movie happen. And at the end, after all questions were answered, all questions were asked, he then gave everyone a signed poster from the film signed by both the director who couldn't be in attendance that night but was definitely there in spirit and then signed by himself and personalized you know he says love to connor on here <laughs> all right morgan what just happened we just saw the first public showing of nosferatu starring doug jones um, it was insane. It was very good. Uh, I Unexpected. We got free tickets because we went to see him uh, the other day at Comic-Con. And they gave us these lovely posters. Um, and it was, it was like, I, <laughs> I'm a different person now. <laughs> and so it was a really cool experience. The only downfall is that they also let us know that at the time this movie doesn't have a distributor. For those of you who don't know, a distributor is how you get the movie into theaters or onto streaming. 
So an easy example for those of you who don't know how film distribution works is a movie from earlier this year called Talk To Me. This film is an Australian film produced in Australia by Australian companies, but was then distributed in the U.S. by A24. So a distributor is how you get a movie into theaters, into other countries, onto streaming platforms. So with this movie being an independent project, it has no distributor at the moment. So currently the only way to see the film is by attending one of these screenings on Doug Jones' convention circuit. Which is a bit of a tragedy because I, I kind of want to watch it again. <laughs> but I would have to hunt Doug Jones down at a con. And so please, this is just my little piece here that if you can help them find a distributor, or if anybody in my comments, I don't know how far this video is going to reach, but if anybody watching this has any suggestions or any help of how to f help them find one, please help them find a way to get this film out there, either on the streaming or I'd love to see it on the big screen again. So yeah, I just wanted to take the time to let you know that this movie exists, this movie's out there, because right now you can't watch it. I'm one of the few people who have seen it. And that's a shame. That's a tragedy. So let's help this film get out there. I wanted to give a big thank you to Doug Jones, David Lee Fisher, everyone who made this screening happen. It was a pleasure. It was a gift. I'll treasure it forever. And I can't wait to see this film again someday, hopefully soon. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you've seen the original Nosferatu and if you want to see this one. Again, if you have any way of knowing how we can get a distributor, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.